So welcome back. Now it's time to add the target environment. So we can go into the pancake menu on the left and go back to environments. This is a dashboard screen that always shows up and all actions aren't at the dashboard. It's like a view only kind of refreshable screen. So as you remember, we've done the source, it's working, agents are okay, it's time to now add a new one. This is also gonna be a local hybrid environment. Remember when you have AADC already talking to the cloud, you choose local. If you don't have AADC, that's when you would use the other method. So we're just gonna call this target tenant and then target tenant agent like we did in the past. And then copy one of the links to your clipboard. And uh, we already have the agent downloaded, so we'll go put that into the environment. And let's start that installation. Now while this is running, Sometimes we jump back and forth between our own browser and the environment. Reasons for doing that could be related to where the environment's running. You, as an organization, might have an IT department that blocks this lab on-demand environment, but they recognize your device with your conditional access. So you might need to use your personal desktop browser or laptop browser to do the work like we're doing but then come into the environment to do the installations. As long as the environment can reach out, outbound on port 443, over to, you know, on demand, it works, and all the agents report back okay. So that's what we're doing here. We're just jumping back and forth screens. You might be able to do it directly out of the Microsoft Edge inside the environment, but if your organization blocks uh, strange environments, you know, that it can identify, you might have to do a web page on another page and then come over like we're doing. So target domain is target3.local. And the global catalog is uh, P365-T3. P365-T3.target3.local. And then um, administrator at target3.local. All right, you can bring in your clipboard Using the flash icon, type text, type clipboard text. And then you have to go over and get the key again. The good news is once you do this once, it's pretty much set up and it will communicate back and forth. You do have to have the cursor in the field in the background like being displayed. Otherwise, it'll paste it wherever the cursor is. And we'll, again, we'll do system account, but you can run as a domain service principal. Instructors note, please understand the add account button has to be clicked here after you enter the credentials. In this video demonstration, it wasn't done, and we had to go back and correct it. So the ODM80 agent is now installed here, and I'm sure if you refresh your browser page, it should show up okay shortly. That's all it does, and then it does do a quick local discovery of the local environment. And if you're going to deal with tenant mail objects and tenant distribution groups, things with mail properties on them, then you do have to make sure as a prerequisite to this installation, the environment you just installed in has the exchange schema 
the extended uh, the AD being extended with the exchange schema and the org showing. And um, that's normal, you know, with AADC installs also. You might not have exchange servers in your environment, but you do need to extend the schema of the source and the target so all the schema can be shown to the top. Now, if exchange isn't involved at all and mail properties aren't involved at all, and all you're doing is a standard AD to AD migration, you could just do local agents and not worry about exchange at all. Here we're merging into our um, tenant tenant migration product called on demand migration. So it can be beneficial if the environment extended and all the schemas are working the same. For example, um, you might need the source anchor for AADC to sync. So these things can be defined, um, but schema must be extended for things of such nature. But again, for pure AD to AD migrations, you don't need anything exchange in this environment, so no schema extensions. All right, so now that you've defined your source and target environments, a discovery will launch shortly and probably populate all the users, groups, contacts, devices on that main screen. It'll happen in a few.